It is time to see the story of Frankenstein like you have never seen it before. Vicki McLean and Jim Banks join us from the Lone Star Valley to talk to us about this weekend's performance. And um, you, say, you say it because you say it 10 times better than I do. Frank, how do you say it? Frankenstein. 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 But you, <laughs> but you say anything it sounds 10 times <laughs> no. better uh, than, than well, the way it is. Now, you, you guys have been wanting to do this production yes, for, for a, a while. Yes. And uh, through circumstances, it is what, the 200th anniversary? 200th Absolutely. anniversary. We found out that this month is the 200th anniversary of, of Frankenstein, Frankenstein, uh, for Mary Shelley's book. And the Morgan Library in New York has this huge exhibit. Mm -hmm. And what was extraordinary was Rhiannon and uh, Whitney is doing my makeup again. You know, she did it for Wolf, and now mm -hmm. she's doing it with the creature. And um, they have this this sculpture on exhibit. It looks just like what she has done, like in our ad and and so forth. It was like I was just okay. This is uh, creepy. You know. <laughs> it's creepy, but it is. Gene, we were talking about how this story, even though it's 200 years old, is still relevant today because of, of some of the things that we deal with in today's society mm -hmm. with, right. with the rejection. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, Frankenstein, the creature, he didn't mm -hmm. ask to be created. He didn't ask to be put into the environments in which he was put into. Um, but unfortunately, you know, he mm -hmm. ended up confronting a lot of rejection. Yeah. And there was a lot of negative reaction to him as he started walking in about. And he, he reflected that negativity. But he was just, he was seeking love. He was yeah. seeking affection. And, you know, it, I think it is reflect. Of and don't you think that's what all of us do? We seek oh, yeah. the love mm -hmm. and respect and appreciation from uh, from others. Mm -hmm. And when we don't get that, a lot of times it's there, crushing. yeah, it, it, yeah, it crushes us, and sometimes can uh, can can really turn us into somebody that we're not. Right. Exactly. Um, right. Let's talk about show details because I want to make sure that you all have an opportunity to go and see this, and it's perfect uh, right on tap, uh, right on time for Halloween. Oh, I think yes. it's going. You know, it's a. Um, I've done the music that is extremely interesting. It is some classical music that is done with a lot of percussion and so forth. And, and it'll be Friday and Saturday this weekend, 8 p.m. at the Globe News Center for the Performing Arts, which is a, you know, a relatively intimate theater. Mm -hmm. So it's kind Beautiful. of fun because you're going to get up close and personal with the creature and with Victor Frankenstein. Um, you can get the tickets and please get them from Panhandle mm -hmm. Tickets or the Ballet. Mm -hmm. But Panhandle Tickets because there are others that are out there that will charge you yeah. mm -hmm. unbelievable amounts. And don't do that because that money doesn't, is more than likely not going to yes. stay here. Thank you guys yes. so much. Go be a part Thank of you. this. Um, we've do. got it over on our website. We'll be back. More Studio 4. We'll